Heterogeneous computing is the idea that your computing elements on the machine are made up of more than one type of processing unit. And each one may have different specialties that will run for one part of run better for one part of your calculation versus the other. Today, heterogeneous computing is usually embodied with graphical processing units, which were originally designed to do fast graphical processing, being used for more general purpose computing like our scientific algorithms that are the core of our applications. So we chose this design because we in the ASC program in particular felt that it was almost inevitable that heterogeneous computing was going to become necessary to achieve exascale computing. And so this machine came along at a time when IBM and NVIDIA provided a solution um, that solved many of the issues that had made heterogeneous computing difficult in the past, as well as some emerging standards and software that we just felt like this was the right time for us to, to make the leap into heterogeneous computing. The center of excellence really is an organizing principle around all the activities we have designed to get our applications here at the laboratory ready for the Sierra system. But at its core, it's really about engaging the vendors for the first time in helping our application teams get ready for this system. Usually our vendor collaborations are about helping us install and deploy a machine here before they hand the keys over. This is a much more in-depth engagement with the vendors where they're experts who understand both applications and the hardware that they're deploying are now working side by side with our application developers to make sure we're ready on day one. So the cardioid code was originally developed in conjunction with our current flagship machine, Sequoia, one of the IBM Blue Gene Q systems. Um, and it was very highly tuned for that architecture and ran very effectively. Now we're trying to make sure Cardioid not only runs well on this upcoming Sierra system, but actually is preparing itself to be able to run on any number of machines. In addition to the work they're doing to run effectively on this machine, they're adding new features to the code, including modeling the actual motion, the muscle motion of the heart, in addition to the electrophysiology. So we feel that the Center of Excellence is really an outstanding model for us to employ what we refer to as co-design, which is the really tight collaboration of people who are developing the hardware systems and the people who are running the applications on them. This is something that we as a country and a laboratory need to do more of to make sure that the machines deployed in the future are machines that work effectively for our mission needs.